Good morning, Year 7s. Um, yeah, we get to continue doing my very favorite unit. We're going to be able to use my very favorite tool this lesson, too. So, yeah, this is all about compass constructions. Now, in case you don't remember really what a compass is, it's this guy here. Um, the, it's the cool one with the pointy end and the end for your pencil. So it's kind of like, yeah, the stabby dangerous one. So be careful with it, my lovelies. Um, yeah, and we're going to learn how to do some cool constructions with that. Uh, you might just think they're for drawing circles, but they do way, 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 way more than that. So if you see this really cool picture up at the top here that I've just taken off the internet with the beautiful star and the geometric pattern around it and the pentagon around it, um, it's lovely. And we can totally do stuff like that on our own. We're going to be able to do really neat constructions too soon enough. Yeah, but to start with, before I do anything else, I want to show you guys why you might need a compass because you might be thinking, well, I don't need one. It's all well and good that it exists, but why would you why would you want one? Well, I shall show you. Um, have a little peek at this triangle here. Uh, can you see it's a five and then a four and then a six? Um, so this triangle is definitely possible. It's like a, a viable triangle because, well, four plus six is ten and the bottom's five. So yeah, definitely this triangle, you can build it. Uh, and if you check it out, it's going to be really tricky to actually draw that. So here's what I'm going to get you guys to do. I don't need to spend ages, so just when I say push pause, we're going to do a little bit of just an experiment. Here's what I'm going to get you to do. Using only your ruler, so not the compass, um, not the protractor. Well you, well, you couldn't use the protractor anyway because no, no angles are given, so you can't use the protractor anyway. But yeah, just with your ruler, I want to see if you can draw this triangle. You get one try, so maybe start by drawing the five centimeter, five centimeter along the bottom. You only get one try though. So push pause, draw it, then unpause. Go. Okay, and you're back. Okay, my lovelies, I'll bet ya you did a pretty good attempt at that. I guarantee you, out of all 155 of you, nobody will have it right. Okay, so you might have a close. If you're really, really good, I'll bet you you've got the five perfect. I've got you, I bet you got the four perfect, but I'll bet you this side is something like 6.5 or 5.5 or maybe even 6.2 if you are really lucky and really good. But yeah, it's actually not going to be possible to draw this perfectly with the ruler. And here's why. There's my attempt with three rulers, so lucky I've got cut and paste here on this computer, but if you check it out, look at the bottom, remember how the bottom needed to be five? Well, on the bottom here where it needed to be five, I've actually nailed that, so there's five there, and look at my bottom here, it's absolutely five, so it starts at zero, goes to five, I've got that one, woo, I've got that one spot on, that's exactly five. Same deal here, that's exactly four centimeters, so you might be thinking, well, you didn't need a compass. Mr. Wade has just proved himself wrong, but here you go. Check this out here, the last side, the six. If you're to pop your ruler over to that, I am not even close. I'm like 3.9 at best, so I'm not even close, which means the way I've drawn the triangle, the, stru the way I've structured my triangle is not right at all. So for this to be longer, potentially the four centimeter line needed to be more that way, and maybe that needed to go longer like that. And then is that six now? Oh, it's not, no, it's still not even six there. So it's still a, it's still a fiasco. So that's only five. And now this one's not four anymore. Oh no, can you see it's just a, it's just a disaster, isn't it? That one's not four anymore. See, it's really hard, it's not possible. But you'll be happy to hear our dear friend, the compass has got your back. Now here you go, get your compass out. Um, if you haven't got it, push pause, go get your compass. You need the compass, the ruler, and the protractor for this lesson, um, so go get it. But if you do have it now in front of you, here's what you're gonna do. Start by just taking your compass and um, setting it up. So just open it up just a little bit, and then put the pencil into there, and then just kind of screw it on so that the pencil is tight. The pencil, when it's open, should be kind of in a way that the compass looks like it's sitting normally, like this picture of a compass does. So it shouldn't be leaning way over to one side. It should just be like pretty much upright when it's partially open and that's pretty much it. Got that? Okay. We're gonna make this triangle, but not yet. I'm gonna show you something really cool first. Now, I know that you guys might be like, oh, Mr. Wade, I already know how to use a compass. I don't wanna use a, or I don't need you to tell me how to draw a circle, but I'm going to show you in any way, my lovelies, because I'll 
Betches, not everybody does know how to use the compasses as perfectly as we need to. So here we go. First step is I'd just like you to draw me a circle like this guy up here with radius five. And I'm gonna show you how to construct this super accurately. Step one is you grab your compass and you're gonna put the pointy end at your ruler, okay? Now, sometimes I've seen kids break rulers before. So if you want to touch it on the plastic, it's okay. But don't push really hard because you can, even though I know it sounds like a challenge because the rulers say shatter resistant on them, but yeah, you can definitely break them. So definitely don't push super hard, but yeah, put the pointy bit at the zero and then put the pencil bit, like stretch the compass out so that it is exactly at five. So can you see that kind of the distance from the point to the end of the pencil is five? Well, that means it's set up. So now we're already done and dusted. So that is brilliant. So what you're going to do now is you don't need this anymore. And to just draw a circle of radius five, it's going to be just like this. Now, I'm just going to draw it first, then I'm going to explain to you what could have gone wrong when you've drawn it, okay? So here we go, radius five. Just start by pushing down on this end. See the pointy end? That's got the point. Put most of your weight, uh, like you don't have to push hard or anything, but of the weight that you're pushing onto the compass right now, most of the weight should be at the pointy end because this pencil end should just be kind of lightly touching the paper. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go, oh, I forget which button does it, I think it's this button. You're just gonna go all the way around, upside down and through, and boom, you've made a perfect circle. Okay, so you should have a perfect circle. And on yours, there's actually a dot because where the compass point was in that you can actually see the center of the circle as well. Cool. Now, some people right now, here, I'll show you. I'll try to do it by hand. I guarantee you, probably, maybe even you, but there'll be a lot of you right now that have just drawn the circle and it's looked something, oh shoot, yeah, I can't draw it on this program, I forgot. Okay, I'll have to draw it by, not with my pen, I have to draw it with the mouse. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a fiasco. Okay, but here's how it's gonna go. It, some of you will have your circle have gone like that, spiraled out. That might mean that you're pushing a bit too hard on the pencil end, and some of you maybe weren't pushing hard at all, and it's still kind of spiraled out. And if it's spiraled out and you weren't pushing too hard at all, look at the little screw up here right near where the zero is, and maybe that needs half a turn, okay, to tighten it up a little bit. So sometimes the compasses need a little bit of tightening, but if, if it's a new one or you've just got it for this lesson, it should be already ready to go. Cool. Another pro tip. When you draw a circle, so maybe let's let's try again. When you draw a circle as well, using your compass, what you're gonna wanna do too, is sometimes it's easier to hold the compass still, so pushing down on the black part at the top or the plastic bit at the top, um, it's sometimes easier to twist your workbook underneath it. That's how I do it when I'm not using a computer. I move the paper as opposed to the compass because it can be, um, it's easy to make it slip out into the spiral if you push too hard. So if you move the paper instead of the compass, you won't push too hard. So yeah, there's some pro tips for you. That's what I'd say, but hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you got a five centimeter circle. Okay, moving on to the good stuff then. Here we go. Um, there's the triangle that we were gonna try to draw earlier. Um, and it was really, well, we didn't, I didn't manage it or hope, and maybe some of you might've got close, but I almost guarantee nobody of you managed it either. So here's what we're gonna do. To draw the thing, here's what we do. Start off and get that bottom line in first, the five centimeter long line. So ruler down, measure me out a line, that's exactly five centimeters. So again, we're all about accuracy. So to the nearest millimeter, um, I, think I've, I think I've got it there with the nearest millimeter. Cool, so that's that bit done. But as you know, I can't go up and do the four now with the ruler because if I did that, it would muddle up what this six centimeter side is. So we can't quite do that. So here's what we're gonna do. Have a little check of this side here. See that little red dot? See how that kind of matches up to there? It's hard to do this with the mouse actually. Um, yeah, it matches up to there. And can you see it's supposed to be a four centimeter line from there? Here's what you're gonna do. First time ever using the compass properly. Take your compass, and instead of drawing a four centimeter long line with the ruler, we're gonna do it with the compass. So start off with by putting the pointy bit in again and then opening up the compass to exactly four centimeters using your ruler. I think that's close. Just about, just about. Oh, come on, please. 
Oh, yeah, bam, oh, yeah, nailed it, hey. Okay, so there we go, exactly four centimeters. Now, here's the thing. We're gonna take our compass, and we're gonna stick it into that point that matches up with the, with the four centimeter long side, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be drawing what's called an arc. So make a nice little marking that goes whoosh, like that. So you've drawn a bit of a circle. Now, why that's useful, my buddies, is because since we started every, well, since we started at this point, every single thing on the circular arc is four centimeters away from this, which means that when I get to the six centimeter side, which I shall do in green, I guess, green, when I get to that six centimeter side, if I do the same on it by making a one that's exactly six centimeters, check this out, so six, up a little bit, it's tricky, I like it though, okay, I think that's pretty close, maybe, oh, perfect, okay, there we are, yeah, brilliant, I'm happy with that, so now you've got it exactly six centimeters, well, here's the thing, if you pop that there, and you draw another arc that goes this way, whoosh, what you've done now is you've actually made two separate arcs, um, and whereas this one, the red arc, had everything four centimeters away, the green arc had everything six centimeters away, which means that this point here in the very middle is the point where it's exactly four centimeters from here and exactly six centimeters from here, which means, my lovelies, da -da 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 -da, that this is the perfect triangle. That should be exactly right. Let's have a little quick check. So here we go, let's see. So this side should be six, and it should be exactly six. Not nearly six, but exactly six. And it is exactly six. Same deal here, this should be exactly four. Um, and let's have a little peek and see if it is exactly four. Boom, exactly four. So can you see it? We've done a perfect triangle. And the reason, or what we needed to do to, to do that was to use our compass because that's how you get these big long curves that are equally distant away. So how cool is that? Sweet. Here's what I'm gonna get you guys to do then. All again, same deal again, I mean, I'm gonna get you guys to make this one. Four centimeters by 4.5 by six. Now here's what I'd suggest. If you feel like you got everything that I just said, push pause and just, um, then when you get finished, just push forward, 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 forward and see if you made the same one as me. Uh, and if you'd still like help, I'm gonna explain it. Okay, so you ready? If you'd like to pause, pause and have a little go. And if you think you need to listen, have a little listen. Okay, good, go. Okay, now here you go, listeners, here we go. What I'm gonna get you guys to do is to start off with, we need the floor. So if we're gonna get the floor, put the floor in of exactly four centimeters. Super careful with our measurements though, okay? Because it's all about accuracy with this. There's four centimeters, done. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is get the six centimeter on. So let's do this left hand side. So maybe match that up with red for instance. So that'll match up there. And it needs to be six centimeters. Compass over to the ruler. And what we're gonna do is we are going to open it up to exactly six centimeters. So oh, I think I nailed that, that was lucky. Yeah, six centimeters, yeah, in the first try, woohoo! Um, stab the pointy bit into there, boom. Now, once you got the pointy bit in, what you're gonna do one more time is you are gonna be drawing a bit of an arc. So here we go with our arc. Now, that's important, that arc, because on that arc, everything is exactly six centimeters away. So that's kind of what the arc has done. Now, that's all good, so we've got one arc on. The other arc, you go to this side here, so let's do the green dot, which can be there. And can you see at the edge of the four centimeters there, there's the 4.5 centimeters up. So now we need to measure 4.5. Now, it, I have to use the pointy bit here just because it's the computer, but you could put your pointy bit at zero again and open it up to exactly 4.5. So there we are, open to exactly 4.5, pointy bit in, um, nice big arc. So here we go, just like that. And there we have it, compass away, it's all done now. And there we go. And you can see they've got that spot where the two arcs cross, which is just there. Um, that's important again, because it's where there's six centimeters from the red, and it's also 4.5 centimeters from the green, 
And that means that's exactly the triangle that we wanted. That's the exact perfect triangle that we wanted. So go like that, go like that. And in this case, this one was very nearly actually a right angle triangle, which is cool as well. So happy days, you've done it. So hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you've got the idea of it and you feel good. Do you feel good, lovelies? Cool, right. So that's really, really good. And because I think that you want to do a little bit more in this lesson, because I think um, you will have the hang of this. I don't think that's too bad. You probably, with a bit of practice, will have the hang of it. I'm going to give you a little bit of extra. So we're going to go right into year eight, because it'll be a bit more fun for us. And the title is, or the next thing that we're going to make, is a perpendicular bisector. Now, in case you're not sure what the what this is, which I bet you won't know what this is, this is the first time, um, Perpendicular means that it's at a right angle, and bisector means in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line that's 8 centimeters long, and we're going to cut it in half, so 4 centimeters, and we're going to make a line that's perpendicular to it. Now I'll show you how to do that, because this is going to, the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to make really pretty pictures with you next lesson, and this is going to be one of the skills we use, is this perpendicular bisector. But it's nice and easy, see, ready? 8 centimeters long. Ruler down, nice line exactly eight centimeters. You're ready? Eight centimeters. Whoosh, all the way over to eight. Okay. Um, now, in case you forget the steps as well, I'll give you a bit of a pro tip. Uh, your homework's going to have one of these on it. So in case you forget, don't forget, in case you forget how to do it, don't forget to relook at this video because they're all the same. It's nice and easy. Okay. Now, these are nice. These are good to do. So see, I got exactly eight centimeters or hopefully exactly eight centimeters, nearly perfectly eight centimeters. Here's what we're going to do. This is easier to do than you think. Start off by putting the pointy thing into one of the ends and then just open the compass to any distance you like. Apart from it has to be more than halfway. Okay, so do you see I'm more than halfway here. It'll work if I put it there, but it will not work if I put it there. Okay, so I've got to be more than halfway. Um, it's easier to do if you're even a little bit like way further than halfway. Don't go past the whole line, but it's better if it's way further than halfway. Once you're further than halfway, draw yourself a nice big arc that goes like this. And then underneath on the bottom, you're going to draw another arc that goes down like that. So we've kind of drawn half a circle. If you want to finish the circle because you want it to look cool, um, you're welcome to do that too. It's really neat. Now here, here, okay, how am I going to do this? Here's the most important thing. For you, this will be easy. How am I going to do this? Okay, for you, this is going to be easy because um, because all you have to do is take the point now and put it so that, um, so that the compass stayed open to the same amount. Now, how am I going to do this on mine? Oh, no, I didn't think this through. Um, yeah, so for you, this should be easy. For me, it's going to be a little bit trickier. So mine's not going to be quite accurate. Oh, no. Okay. And what you're going to do is you are going to... Oh, I've got an idea to fix mine as well. Okay, I've got an idea to fix mine. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to open yours so you haven't collapsed the compass. It's the same distance apart. Now you're going to draw the same circle again, but this time this way. And you're going to find that the two things cross. You get two crossings, one there and one there. And what you're going to do with them is connect them together just like that. Now, because I couldn't keep my compass open at the same distance, mine won't be perfect. It does look close, though, actually, but mine I don't think will be perfect. Yeah, because I'm a bit short on that side, which means I'm a bit long on this side. Yeah, it should have been four and four, and it's not quite four and four. But that's just because mine was, because um, my compass, I didn't keep the same distance apart. So that's it. That's perfect. If you've done it, you should on yours have this is exactly four and this is exactly four. Okay. Just to show you that it works. Okay. So if you are one of the ones that won't be happy because it didn't work quite work well on mine, you'll be like, oh, Mr. Wade has not quite got it right there. I'm not sure if he is right. I'm going to show you one more time. Feel free to skip this until I get to this slide if you want me to. So wait till we get to this slide. You can skip to that if you like. If you don't mind why mine didn't work, but I can, oh shoot, but I can make mine work though. Okay, so the reason it didn't work, buddies, on mine, the reason why it didn't work on my one was because the compass, um, 
my compass didn't stay the same distance apart because of the way that the computer works, but I think, or the way the program works, but I think I can do it. Okay, watch this. I can make it work. I can just do it with a specific distance. If I make mine the length of the entire line, then I'll be able to measure that from both directions. So that is what I'm going to do. So here you go. Check it out. Mine's going to work this time, buddies. Here we go. You ready? Here it is. Okay. And then same deal again on this side. But now, even though mine can't stay open at the same distance, because I knew it was the distance of the line, I figured out a way around it. <laughs> okay. It'll work perfect this time. I guarantee it. So yeah, you don't need to do the whole distance of the line, but I just want to show you, just show you. Okay, check it out. Here we go. And, but, ooh, dear. Control Z. Here we go. And click it and click it. Woochoosh, woochoosh. And there we go. Compass bit's done. Woo, get that out of there. And here we go. Nice straight line. Right through. Uh, over, 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 over. And now I should have it perfect. Four and four. Oh yeah. So that should have worked the first time for you, but at any rate, it does work. So woohoo, proved it. Okay. And the last topic, the last topic, my lovelies, and thank you coming back to the ones who skipped that part. Um, our last topic that we're going to do is called an angle bisector. Now this is cool too. All you got to do for an angle bisector, it's easier than the perpendicular one, um, is you start off with the angle. So we need to make an angle that's 50 degrees. Well, to do that, just start off with a line. It doesn't say how long the line has to be, so just draw it any old length you like. Boom. Nice little horizontal line. Now we've got to measure 50 degrees, so protract her out, because we are measuring an angle now. Um, the... because you guys are good at this, so I won't tell you too, too much. Ooh, darn again. Okay. I won't tell you too, too much about this, because you were good at it, but just in case you don't remember, zero's on the inside, so 50, it means we're using the inside numbers. 50's there then, beside the 130, and that put your little mark there, protractor away, ruler now, and to, or edge of the protractor, just a straight edge, whatever straight edge you have, and boom, there's a 50 degree angle then. So this angle down the middle here is 50 degrees. Okay, an angle bisector then, guys, is going to be when you cut an angle in half. So I'm going to turn this angle here, which is 50 degrees, into two angles, which are 25 each. Here's how you do it. Compass in the corner, open it to any old length, okay? So just a comfortable length. You don't even have to measure though, so this is why this one's easier. Just any old length, okay? So there it is, any old length done. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to just draw an arc that cuts both of those two lines. Now super importantly, don't let the compass collapse. So see how it's still the same distance apart, guys? See how my compass, I don't need the ruler, get rid of it. And see how my compass is still the same distance apart as it was here? It's the same distance apart. Now take it, now put the point in the first spot where it crossed, and you're gonna draw yourself another arc. So here's the other arc, just like that. Take the compass, move it to where it crossed, which is here, and draw yourself another arc again. So here we go. And then you can take the compass and move it away. Now I'll bet you, you know what you're doing already. What, can you think, can you spot what you'd have to do next? So we've got, we've gone these and we've got this crossing and that crossing. Well, all you gotta do next guys, connect from the center through where the two things cross. And do you remember how the angle used to, and, that, and that's it, you've done it. So do you remember how the whole angle um, used to be 50 degrees? When I use this program, I can't write with the pen, my lovelies. So apologies, but there you go, 50 degrees. Remember how the whole thing used to be 50 degrees from there to there? Well, that means that you should have 25 degrees as being this part here. So this part here should be 25 degrees, shouldn't it? Well, let's see if it is. Let's have a little check. Put the little protractor down. Let's see how accurate we were. Protractor down. Give it a twist. Oh, darn. I grabbed the wrong thing. Give it a twist and a nice little measurement. And oh my gosh, guys. There's 20. There's 30. We're exactly 25 degrees. I reckon the one on the floor is 25 degrees as well. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Exactly 25 degrees. We are now construction legends. Pretty much, those are the two most important things that you do in constructions, is cutting an angle in half and cutting a line in half, okay? 
So, hopefully that's okay. In case you don't remember in the first try, which you probably won't to be fair because it's a few steps, you can put this video on in the background when you try and you can have a little bit of a rethink. Here's what I'm gonna get you to do as your activities today. Okay, step one is I just want you to do these three triangles. So it says triangle A, B, C with A, C is that, C, B is that, and A, C is that. So in other words, in case you're not sure how to draw a triangle, Oh no, don't even joke, I can't draw on this one either. Oh no! Okay, so, in case you ah, ha, I know how to do this, hang on. Ha, 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 ha. I will be able to draw on it. PowerPoint is our friend. Okay, so, in case, there's our lovely PowerPoint. Okay, so in this first question, what you gotta do is you see how it says triangle ABC? Just draw any old triangle, just like that, just freehand to start with, and call it ABC, or however you labeled it. Now it says AC, so that's from A to C is six centimeters, from C to B is eight centimeters, and from C to A is five centimeters. Once you've got that sketched out, buddies, once you've got this sketched out, question's easy. So start with drawing eight centimeters, compass, compass, connect. Cool, so it shouldn't take you too, too long. Um, we're gonna do these three triangles just like that. Then I want a perpendicular bisector of the eight centimeters, which is like what we did a minute ago, which is, um, the line one, angle bisector on 40 degrees, and an angle bisector of 120 degrees. Now, if you didn't quite get this one figured out, it's a bit funny, it'll still work, same steps, but it will look weird, okay? So if you don't get this one to work, no worries, cool? So I want you to try one, two, three, four, five and a half questions. Cool beans? Right, really good work, my super duper sevens, and see you next time, my lovelies. Bye buddies!